class, are you ready to learn today's lesson today? Yeah. Yes. So today's lesson, we're going to learn about money. How many of y'all know what money is? I do. I do too. Have y'all ever used it? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Well, we're going to go for it and look at this. Look on the table and see this coin that's laying there. What is the coin and how much is it worth? It's a penny. It's worth one cent. Great job. How about this one? Uh, it's a nickel. It's worth five cents. Great job. Y'all really know your money. Um, it's a dime. Ten cents. Correct it is. And the last one? Uh, it's a quarter. Twenty-five cents. Incorrect. All right, class. Now I'm going to show you some objects, and you're going to pick the correct coin to go under the object. All right. Our first object here is a baseball, and it's worth 10 cents. Who can come up and show me 10 cents for the baseball? Come on up, Janelle. I think it's this one. All right. We're going to see. Next, we have a book, and it's worth 25 cents. Who can come up and show me 25 cents? Come on up, Leslie. All right. And next, we have a balloon, and it's worth one cent. Come on up, Janelle. Let's see what you got. Okay. And our last item here is an apple, and it's worth five cents. Who can show me five cents? Come on up, Leslie. All right, let's see if you were correct. We have a dime here and a dime here, a quarter and a quarter, a penny and a penny, and a nickel and a nickel. You were right. Good job, class. All right, let's see. Next, we're going to buy a birthday cake, and it's worth 75 cents. So who can come up and show me? 75 cents to give to the cashier. Come on up, Leslie. All right, you gave us three quarters. Let's see if three quarters is the answer. And the answer is three quarters. That's 25 cents, 50 cents. And 75 cents. Good job, Leslie. All right. Next, we're going to buy a dog bone, and it's worth 49 cents. So who can come up and show me 49 cents? Come on up, Janelle. All right, Janelle gave us a quarter, two dimes, and four pennies. Let's see if she's correct. All right, the answer is a quarter, two dimes, and four pennies. Let's count this, class. We have 25 cents, and 10 cents added to 25 cents is 35 cents. Then we're going to add 10 more cents to 35 cents. That's 45 cents. Then we have four pennies, so that's 46, 47, 48, 49. All right. Uh-oh. Now we're going to buy some candy, and it's worth 17 cents. So who can I get to come up and show me 17 cents for the cashier? Come on up, Leslie. Did we get any candy? No, Leslie. We're just pretending, okay? Okay. All right, Leslie gave us a dime, a nickel, and two pennies. Let's see if she's correct, class. We have a dime, a nickel, and two pennies. Let's count it, class. We have 10 cents, and then we're going to add 5 cents to that. That makes 15 cents, and we have two pennies, so that's 16, 17. That's 17 cents. All right.
right, class. Now we're going to count the money that we have in our piggy bank, and we're going to find out which three of these items that we could buy. So we have, here we have $1, $2, we have a quarter, which is 25, a dime, 35, another dime, 45, a penny, which is one cent, 46, 47, 48. So we have $2.48. So who can show me, come circle, what which one that we can buy for $2.48? Ooh, I can. All right, Alexis. Alexis circled the airplane. Let's see if Alexis is right. And indeed, as she is correct, it's the airplane. Good job, Alexis. The next one that we have, we're going to count again the money in our piggy bank and see if we can buy the watch, the umbrella, or the sunglasses. Count at your table your money as we go along. Five dollars. Five dollars and another dollar makes six dollars. And then I'm going to add one more dollar. It makes seven dollars. Now let's count our change. We have one dime that's worth ten cents. Penny, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we have seven dollars and fourteen cents. Who can come up and show us, circle, which one of these three items we can buy for seven dollars and fourteen cents? Me, 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 me. Come on up, Leslie. Leslie circle the watch. Let's see if Leslie is correct. And indeed, she is correct. The watch is $7.14. Okay. Now, we're going, I want you to add the money to your table as we go along. And we're going to find out how much we have. It says you went to the movies and bought some popcorn. The movie was a dollar twenty-five. So take out a dollar and then take out a quarter, because that's twenty-five cents. And then the popcorn costs seventy-five more cents, and so now you gotta pull out three more um, quarters. So we're gonna add it all together. How much money did you spend on the popcorn? I need a volunteer to come up and pop the balloon. Ooh, to show I answer. Will. Alexis, that is correct. Two dollars is the correct amount that you have. A dollar twenty-five plus seventy-five more cents makes two dollars. All right, for your birthday, you got three dollars from Grandma. So take out three one-dollar bills and put it on your table. Then you're going to get two more dollars and 50 cents from your aunt. So pull out two more dollars and then take out two quarters, which equals 50 cents. Now count it up and let's find out how much you got for, how much money you got for your birthday. Does someone come show us how much you got for your birthday? Leslie? Good job. You got $5.50 is the total amount that you got for your birthday. All right, now we're going to review what we talked about today, class. We talked about a penny. We talked about how that's worth one cent. Then we talked about a nickel. And how that's worth five cents. Then we talked about the dime and how it's worth ten cents. And then we talked about the quarter and how it's worth twenty-five cents. And then we also use pictures and a different things that you would want to buy at the store 